This week on Fly Rod Chronicles, we remain in Casper, Wyoming for part two. On this episode, we continue fishing these great waterways on the North Platte, the Miracle Mile, and something totally different with my good friend Blake Jackson, owner of Ugly Bug Fly Shop and Crazy Rainbow Fly Fishing. This episode is going to have some incredible fly fishing, some good laughs, a few injuries, and one of the most epic fights I've ever had on a fly rod. You're going to love this show, so stick around. I'm losing my mind. I am losing my freaking mind. Traveling the world, fishing, enjoying the great outdoors. Those are things that would have seemed impossible to me when I was a kid growing up in the mountains of West Virginia. I'm a lucky man and I never want to forget it and I'm hoping that sharing my experiences with folks will inspire them to do the same. I'm Curtis Fleming and these are my Fly Rod Chronicles. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles, our part two episode in Casper, Wyoming with our good friend Blake Jackson, owner of Crazy Rainbow Fly Fishing and Ugly Bug Fly Shop. You know, last week there was just too much fishing and too much great, unbelievable catching going on with my wife and my daughter Autumn. We couldn't fit it in one show. So here we are in part two and there's a lot of of unbelievable catching going on. So, rather than talking about it, let's get into it. Sam, I like that sound. Oh, gosh, I'm in the back end already. I am in the back end. On, on the mile, I am in the back end. I'm out of the back end now in the mile. I am back. He's coming right at us. And we haven't seen it now. He is taking me to the rocks. And now we see him. And you know what? It's not that big of a fish. But in the mile, they will do that to you. He took me to the backing, Chad. That fish took me to the backing. I should be ashamed of myself. He should be. That fish right there took me to the backing. That fish right there took me to the backing. I, you gotta be kidding me, but that's what you get at the mile right there, isn't it? Huh? It's got shoulders. He took me to the blue, to, to the backing. Is it, isn't that something? Woo! So you don't have to pay $40.99 a month, just do this for a workout. Woo! Woo! Yeah, he just wanted to be caught by the better fishermen. Not, not only did you catch the big fish, you caught the smarter fish. I'm gonna be sore. Oh man, beautiful, wow. So Blake as a guide, he was wonderful, you know, all of the great qualities in a guide, but he was truly a good storyteller. I laughed so much, he was very instructional. He walked me through things and I even told him that he made me seem like I was a good fly fisher woman. I have never felt like I was as good as I am up until this point. He made me feel like, because I was catching so many fish and he put me in the exact locations, I felt like I was on top of the world. This place is really special to me. This is my second time here. And just to see how far I've came from the first time visiting Casper, this place is wonderful. I was really excited to come back and it was even more special the second time.
So, you know, we, we, we proved that we could catch fish on uh, nymphs. And that's what's cool about Ugly Bug. They'll give you a choice. They'll be like, you know, you want to go, you want to go dry fly fishing? We decided to go throw streamers. And that was pretty cool because, um, you know, we were throwing at banks and we were looking for big fish. Uh, we, we didn't find a big fish that we were really looking for, but we had a whole lot of fun. And we were, we were pulling fish out of places that you don't normally throw at. And it was just cool to be able to strip set and, and catch fish with a different technique. There he is. Oh, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Yeah. I'm gonna keep him up. Yeah. Thank you, man. <sighs> Blake's a guy that he goes out and he just does it. He 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 lives it. Um, for years, he's been talking about, um, got a flats boat, let's go do some carp fishing. And, and you can see when he gets excited, but, he, but again, you gotta know how to read him, man. I mean, he's not like a kid that jumps up and down, but he's like, ah, Curtis, man, you gotta come out and do this. You know, it's like, it's like saltwater fishing. For me, it's just hard to read. How do you saltwater fish at 8,000 feet? Well, we got our fill of trout fishing and we got more than what we needed footage wise. And he's like, you guys want to wake up early and go catch some swamp donkeys? And I'm like, swamp donkeys? And he's like, yeah. He's like, you want to add to your list? He goes, let's go catch some mirror carp. And I'm like, all right, man, let's do it. He's up, he's up, he's up. There we go, baby. There we go, we're off to the races again. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like, Blake. He's a bulldog, look at him. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Right there. Right there he is. Ah. This is normal. Yeah. <laughs> Carp are unique, they don't build lactic acid. Really? So so they can just kinda <laughs> keep on keeping on sort of thing. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's a mirror, right? A big mirror cart, oh, yep. Big one. Woohoo, baby. <laughs> nice. How cool is that? So I, I, I know we practice barbless hooks, but, but we're, we're, we're fishing for carp. Fishing for carp, which means we got a barb on there. And you're the one that said, 
let's go have lunch because you look like your your cast is is getting a little weaker. I did say that. And what you said one more cast. I, Give me one more cast. <laughs> one more cast. We we got we got a barb and ankle there. All right. So what we do? So we take the uh, mono loop. Right. We're gonna put it around the front of the hook. Let me get it pulled down directly away from uh, the hook point. Now are you gonna? Do I get a warning here? Yep. I mean, I'll give you a warning. Like on what? On three. And I'll push down on the barb. And then we go one, two, four, oh, that, three. Four was three. <laughs> I didn't feel anything. Beat you to it. Now can you can you show now there's there's a barb in that, right? There is. And some blood. And some blood. So if you were to try to pull that out with a barb. Straight pull it? Straight pull. You would have just ripped. And, and there would have been about a quarter of an ounce of meat in that, Probably. right? So so the key to that is to put the pressure. Push down, yep, and then pull it straight out the hole it went in. Not too bad, huh? That's pretty cool. <laughs> What an unbelievable trip so far. You know, I got to come out here to Casper, Wyoming with my daughter, Autumn, my wife, Shelly. Um, you know, we got the streamer fish, we got the carp fish, got the nymph fish, got the dry fly fish. Um, you know, we got to take on everything that Casper offers. Uh, Blake said, hey, you know, the trip's coming to an end. Let's go up to the mile, you go with Troy, and let's go for that one fish. You know, I've always listened to Blake and this did not disappoint. Slow us down here, Curtis. Yep, yep, yep. You keep playing. If we gotta chase him, we'll chase him. Okay. Okay, I did get him the reel. Yep. We're gonna try to take him to this right bank over here. Okay. Just keep that rod straight up in the air, keep that tension nice and tight. Yep. Oh man, come on, baby. Okay, I got him coming here to us. I know he's got a run in him too. He's got other plans, doesn't he? Oh man. Yeah, buddy. He's got other plans. I'm gonna slow us down here. Good. Uh oh. Get out of the rock yard. Get out. Oh. oh. He's coming. There. I got him out of the rock yard. He said if he hits that current, we're gonna chase him. Oh man. There he goes. He, he's going. Keep, Keep that going. tight. Oh. Look at that. I'm gonna chase him down. Look at him going. He, he's got me almost to my back. Unbelievable. I'm gonna stay tight. Yep, keep that in tension. Doing great. Look at him going across those rocks. We gotta chase him, right? Yep, we're chasing him. He's in the rocks. Look, oh my gosh. You see a tail? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's get on top of him as quick as we can. Look how big. Look how big this fish is. Look at this fish. 
Look at this fish. Look how big this fish is. <laughs> yeah, buddy. All right, we're getting into the fast stuff here. So what do we do? Let's keep go. that rod up, keep the tension on him. We're gonna get as close as we can to him. Yep, yep, good, good, good. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yeah, buddy, no, you're doing great. So, you know, anyone out there, whether you're, you know, an amateur, uh, you know, you're um, a lifelong fly fisherman, everybody refers back to uh, a river runs through it, Brad Pitt. Um, you know, that famous catch of, you know, going down the river. I gotta be honest with you, I felt a little bit like Brad Pitt going down the river. He hooked a fish uh, right at the top of a pretty long quarter mile stretch of fast water. Um, and we didn't think the fish was gonna go down, but he did. So we hit the fast water and we had to chase it. Uh, they hooked that fish in kind of a legendary run called the Flycaster's Hole. Generally, uh, as a guide staff, we try not to take fish below that. Uh, try not to land them below that because you get into a pretty good rocky bouldery set. Uh, but they made it uh, about 95% of the way through it. Okay, he's right here in front. He's right here. Right here. Here he goes. He's right. No way. He's right here. No. No way. I'm gonna move left and move from these rocks. You're doing great. Keep that head up. No way. No. No. I'm gonna keep him up. Good work. You got him. Coming into some soft and stuff. Reel in a little more for me, just a little bit more. There you go. I'm gonna bring him up. Oh, he dove, he dove, he dove. He dove, he dove, he's under the boat. He's, he's going up now. I'm gonna bring him straight up. Unbelievable. Troy did an incredible job because I, I'd look down and we're going sideways, we're going through boulders, and, and all at once, you know, he, he tried to maneuver the boat, and, and a couple times, man, we, we almost went overboard. And all I knew is, you know, the rod needed to stay high. You know, camera guys, they knew the cameras needed to stay high and dry, and uh, for a while, it felt like a river runs through it. No, no. Right here. 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 Come on. Come on. We got it. We got it. Oh my god. We got it. We got it. You're gonna be kidding me. Hang on, fellas. You're gonna be kidding me. You're gonna be freaking kidding me. How far we've chased him? How far? You gotta be freaking kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. Uh, that goes down in freaking awesome. Fly Rod Chronicles efficacy. Is, is the efficacy a word? Yeah, it is now. It is now. That's freaking <laughs> efficacy. You gotta be kidding me, man. I'm losing my mind. You know, when our, at the beginning of our relationship, um, you you mentioned you don't hire summer jobs. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm all about uh, full-time, this is their profession sort of guides, and Troy's a prime example of that. Yeah, it's phenomenal. yeah. Well, you, the fish he put me on, and my daughter, and, and my wife, and, uh, and uh, you know, and, and they're out playing, and doing uh, Casper things, and Wyoming things, and, and, uh, and it, it was just a, a great day, a great trip up here, and, 
and I can't thank you enough. Well, thank you. Yeah. yeah it was awesome. Great yeah. to have you back. Yeah, and Troy, um, unbelievable fish that will go down in my memory bank forever. Um, Fly Rod Chronicles forever. Come back next week for more Fly Rod Chronicles.